Hello, I'm Daniel. In the amateur radio world, known as KE7UUM. Hope you enjoy the video. This is my brand new Ozark Trail screen house. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to hold this <laughs> and undo this since I don't have a stand, or at least not a good one. I took it out of the box already. Okay, well, this is not going to work this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, bless you. My dog sneezes too. Um, so I am going to um, get both hands away from the phone and put this up. So this is what I am reviewing. I'm not sure how well this is showing up. Well, the roof pulls are in. So the instruction says to put the center pole in first, but as you can see, I didn't follow instructions very well. That's possibly why I struggled so much and actually had to have a second person. Um, of course, I'm not in physically good condition like I was, you know, 15, 20 years ago before having arthritis, but enough about that. <clears throat> so here's the roof of it, the top of it. Um, also, as any person that puts these up and does a lot of camping, um, it's almost always a fact that the very first time you put poles in something, it it's tougher. Um, they're color-coded. The uh, red goes down there, and the white ones are up there. Still trying to catch my breath sorry these are not the style that actually like lock in they slip right out so when you're moving another pole around i've had it slip out like two or three times um i uh yeah all right so i'll get the uh other poles in and let you see what it looks like okay here it is i'm yeah, mostly all set up <laughs> um I don't have, as you can see, I don't have a lot of room in this yard between that fence and over here to really tie off these strings. Um, I put two stakes up in the ground and this zipper, waiting for my wife to come out and take a look at it. And um, I would suggest that this not necessarily be a one person job. It is, at least for me, it wasn't easy at all. And the more I look at these though, um, these look like they're actually Velcro and I thought they were sewed in. Let's get out of the sun. Sorry. I don't know how well that's showing up on the camera. I thought it was sewed, but it looks like I could actually just take those off, and I might do that. Um, as for those that know, you already know that if you're not careful and you leave these corner pieces on, when uh, you roll it up, um, you're taking a chance of ripping the tent um, I've done that before actually and yeah just don't have a lot of room in my yard my thir setting up my 13 by 9 tent um, was not fun let me see here pause for a minute so here it is Ozark Trail outdoor equipment um, 13 by 9 um, my mistake I think that my 
actual tent is 16 by 9. I don't remember, but... <clears throat> so... There it is. And, of course, we got it at Walmart. Okay. <laughs> well, you do have a hook up there to hang a light from or something. So, all in all, this ain't too bad. Now, to go and use it and to hopefully keep at least some of the bugs <coughs> away from my family, um, at least away from our food. I guess that's the biggest thing. All right, folks. I think I'm done here. Hey, hope everybody's having a blessed, uh, blessed day. And I don't know if this video is going to get uploaded first or the short one of my actual camping trip that we just got back from. So, have a wonderful day.